fatty liver when a patient comes to you with an ultrasound report of a fatty liver you should think about a certain things whether it's a, this is an associated metabolic syndrome in the in the sense if the patient is obese or if the patient has got diabetes then we should uh, think about that this patient can go in for problems so we should evaluate these patients so we primarily we need to check the liver function test that is if the liver function is abnormal then we should evaluate further we have to rule out two viruses which can produce fatty liver and liver damage that is hepatitis b and hepatitis c so we need to check for that the other thing is whether this patient is go already has gone for a cirrhosis so we have a newer test called mr elastography wherein we do an mri and categorically we can do the entire liver screen and say whether this patient has got an early cirrhosis or just fatty liver so if the patient is not an alcoholic then we have to think about all these things if the patient is of course alcoholic then it is little more easier so the blood test and all these things can show that whether the patient has got got uh, uh, alcoholic state of hepatitis or non alcoholic state of hepatitis so if the patient has got uh, early fibrosis then we should be very careful in telling the patient that we should first he has to control his blood sugar or if he has obese he has to reduce the weight by exercise and dietary modification these are two very important things patient should if the patient has got 80 kg he should reduce 10% of his weight by uh, in 3 to 6 months time that's the basic idea of uh, controlling the nash or non alcoholic state of hepatitis along with that if the patient has got dyslipidemia or if the cholesterol is high we should treat that so these are the things which we should uh, be careful in when you diagnose a patient with non alcoholic fatty liver disease